Greetings Laddingtons, I'm checking in from Lothlorien with some wisdom you can apply in your own life. Before I begin to elaborate, I would like to yet again aware you of the fact that we do have even more glorious garments incoming for Legio Gloria, so this tank top, the most comfortable tank top ever produced, in my humble opinion, feels like you're wearing nothing perfect for warm weather. Anyway, I will not talk more about that, you can just check out the link in the description or check out the Instagram, you can also sign up for the newsletter, you get all the information then. So anyway, what I want to talk about, I want to give some advice on how to be more productive if you are a some sort of entrepreneur um, or even if you're a student or you just have a regular job uh, if you want to do more work in um, with the time you're given then this can be good advice now before I begin to talk about the actual advice I would just like to respond to the question how I can be so productive how I can have so many projects going etc and I would like to say that I'm not alone in this I do have my lovely and loving wife who well we basically do everything together and she's also a photographer uh, which means that we can be super effective when it comes to taking pictures and taking pictures if you have companies etc it's a huge part of everything so we can be quite effective in that regard uh, means I don't have to book any photographers to go to etc uh, we can just do it on the go a lot of times um, then also of course she cooks for me and uh, takes great care of me and uh, our daughter so it allows me to be super productive and you know focus on uh, the work at hand so that is a good reason then also I'm not bound to anything other than an internet connection so I can be productive basically wherever I am it's fun if I meditate upon all the times I've just responded to important emails on the go um, at various places it's quite fun uh, and also of course since I don't need to get to an office uh, I don't need to commute an hour each way I can just do it wherever um, have all of my stuff uh, saves a lot of time but anyway those were just two aspects that might be unique for me I have a lot of benefits when it comes to being productive but what I would like to the advice I would like to give to you which you can probably take to heart no matter your individual situation is that and this might sound a bit counterintuitive but it's to actually work less or study less or um, even train less so we can take a gym for example a lot of guys ask how much time do I spend in the gym and it's usually like 45 minutes something like that might not sound like a lot but you know you go in with your plan you get the things done you hit your heavy compound exercises hopefully you progress you don't need to do anything more than that you don't need to feel that you need to spend more time in the gym just for the sake of it you have your plan go in smash the weights and get out 45 minutes it's not a lot of time so I don't spend a whole lot of time in the gym either I don't even train every day I do try to train every day but certain days I for whatever reason might be away or something okay then I can't train it's fine I have accumulated enough training sessions via a consistent plan for long enough that it's fine um, so that being said in order for you to have a good session a good 45 minute session you need to take care of your sleep and your diet you need to take an example if you are about to progress in your squats or deadlifts you need to have your sleep on point you need to have your diet on point otherwise you can't physiologically speaking you can't get the weight up and if you view it like that your other work if you're an entrepreneur or if you're working with some sort of creative stuff if you work less but if you take more time to optimize the time you're actually working if you sleep more you can be more effective when you are actually working so I will take an example from my own 
well it was about two years ago so we were my wife and I were putting on stickers on Jotunheim Nutrition's oh there's a little squirrel Let's see if we can get him hello Ratatosk <laughs> hello mate Some good extra content in the video. A um, very cute squirrel appeared to bless this video. Bless you all with productivity. So anyway, in the beginning, now of course we have, you know, fully printed bags. Looks better, saves time, um, higher startup cost, of course. But um, in the long run, it we actually save money by doing it. Um, but in the beginning, we put on stickers directly onto the bags you know for yeah you to name amino acids strawberry flavor and I'd made a little mistake when I ordered the stickers because I had forgotten to put on the fact that each bag weighed 400 grams so I'm interjecting in my own video here to just show exactly what I mean so you can see on the bag to the right there you have the nice design of the strawberry amino acids and then you have a 400 gram sticker in red so you know I took this example uh, because it's uh, it's not a big deal it didn't set us back uh, in any meaningful way but it was just a lesson for me to um, to be a bit more careful when I do these sort of things and speaking of which because I utilized this example in a very good conversation I had with my man Solbra on Solcast the other day. So I thought just aware of the fact that I was on that podcast as well. And I, yeah, I took this example uh, in our conversation because I thought it was, um, yeah, a good, uh, you know, mundane, not overly dramatic, but uh, a good example to explain what I mean. So anyway, back to the video. And you know, by law, it has to be stated on the bag the weight of the content. So I had to order smaller stickers, just saying 400 grams, and we had to put those on the bags also. Now, in retrospect, if I had maybe slept half an hour more, if I had maybe taken it a bit more easy before finishing the first batch of stickers I perhaps wouldn't have made that mistake and then I wouldn't have to had had to order more smaller stickers to complement with and we wouldn't have to spend any time putting on the smaller stickers so if I had taken more care about my recovery etc I would have saved time and money in uh, the long run so that is just one example. If you have, if you view the creative time or work time more in the sense that you have to be as sharp as possible when you do it, it starts to make sense. Now, of course, a lot of entrepreneurs, they like to almost brag about how, uh, how much they work. And of course, yeah, there's been days where I have you know, spent a lot of time just doing certain stuff but certain things you can't get away from doing you just have to do it uh, but otherwise there is no real virtue in working long hours for the sake of it no one cares ultimately what people care about is the result the results of your work the results of your design or your product or your writing or your video for that matter um, that is what people care about if I make a video on YouTube and I've spent an hour on it or I can make a video spending 10 hours it doesn't really matter the thing that matters is the end result same thing with a supplement label or whatever it is the important thing is the end result and can you do it in an hour it's better to do it in an hour than it is to do it in 10 hours. Why? Yes, because it's less chance or less risk, should I say, 
that you make mistakes. If you work on something with 10 hours, you will probably make some sort of mistake that will cost you. And this is also something to keep in mind. If you are your own man, if you are an entrepreneur, you have a company, there might be a lot of money on the line and you can't afford to not be as clear as possible in your mind. So for me, if I have slept poorly for whatever reason, you know, our daughter is quite nice, she sleeps well, but for whatever reason, if she does not, I've had a bad sleep, I'm not going to take any any important decisions. I'm not going to I'm not going to create anything of importance. Because if I need to make something as good as possible, I need to have optimized my sleep and my diet. Exactly the same thing as in the gym. Your deadlift set, it might be over in 10 minutes, but the previous 24 hours, you need to have you know, everything in order for you to be able to perform. Same thing if you are creating something and it needs to be perfect. Okay, then you don't have the opportunity, you don't have the luxury to be tired when you're doing it, because then you will have to... There might be the case that you have to redo it, or it might cost you a lot because you made a mistake. So sleeping more will probably save you both time and money. So you know, if you hear someone talk about, oh, team, no sleep, etc. Um, sheer madness, absolute madness. Then of course there are certain things that are more you know, doesn't really require you to think all too much. That you can do when you are a bit more tired. But for the important work, I would never do it if I'm tired. I save that for the days when I'm, you know, feeling good in my mind, which is the absolute majority of days because I also take care of my, you know, diet, training, sleep, etc. So I'm always ready to be productive. So, talking about sleep again, if you say, I have so much to do, therefore I need to sleep less, you can also try to sleep more, but do more things during your work time. And that will also have you know, a better impact on your long-term health, so you can be productive for longer. Because, you know, everything is basically a marathon, it's not a sprint. Then, of course, certain situations you might, for whatever, you might, for whatever reason, need to sleep less. But in the most cases, most scenarios, try to sleep as much as possible, try to minimize the work time, but try to be as productive as humanly possible during the, the hours you are productive. Then also, do not feel bad or guilty for not being, you know, doing work all the time. View your downtime, view your rest time as active recovery. You're recharging your batteries. And if you don't, if you don't recharge your batteries, then you can't keep going as um, productively as possible. So view it, view your work as a gym session. View it as, you know, a set of max deadlifts. You have to optimize everything in advance to do the most you can in a short period of time. So if you want to be as productive as possible, again, recapping here, take care of your sleep, take care of your diet, take care of your training, and take care of, you know, yourself. You also need to do other things so you can approach your work again with renewed vigor if you um, if you need it so anyway i hope that was somewhat useful for you at least thank you for watching xxo boom